Welcome to In Bed With Natasha. This is my Paris Fashion Week special. And uh, I picked up a girl the other night. <laughs> I brought into bed with me, Daisy <laughs> Delo Nev. And she's here with me. And uh, we just thought we'd have a little chat um, about what you're up to, really. Because uh, I know that you were living in London for a really long time. Yeah, for 12 years. Yeah. And how long have you been in Paris now? A year and a half. Oh, it's not that long. No, I still can't speak oh. French. <laughs> <laughs> well, with your surname, you should do, though. <laughs> right, that everyone probably thinks that you're French. Everyone fluid. probably thinks that I have a chateau somewhere. Yeah, exactly. I, I promise you I don't. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. so, but you're an illustrator. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been doing that for how long now? About 14 years. A long time. Yeah. So what kind of work are you doing? You can tell our audience, basically. What's the... Um, I do lots of different work. I do mainly product design so I do like my images will be yeah. on uh, I did a range for Topshop yeah. about 10 years ago they yeah. developed for Topshop so I did you know oven gloves aprons yeah. mugs tote bags they did really well they were really good um, and you've done stuff with Motion on I've done, done as well. packaging for Motion yeah. I've done, I've done Seen that. Um, wine labels for wine up in Istanbul I've done stuff for Nike I basically just work with different, do commissions with different brands that's great it's yeah. exciting and how did you start with all of that how did you get into it I first did a book in 2001 mm -hmm. called He Said, She Said, and then um, Topshop saw that and commissioned me to do shoe boxes. Oh, okay, so wow. That. And then since then I've been working with different brands. It's quite interesting. I think a lot of people sometimes overlook how much influence illustrators have within the world around us. You know, you almost take it a little bit for granted because people consi you know, consider graphic design as being the dominant thing. And, you realise that so much packaging around us, so many things yeah. are done by illustrators and done by hand, basically. I do my work by yeah. hand. I only actually got Photoshop a few years ago, yeah. So how much do you do a bit, a bit, a bit, like Photoshop? I just clean up my images on Photoshop. Mm. I do everything by hand because I work with felt tips and I like how you can see the mark yeah. in between. That's yeah. sort of my trademark style. Yeah. So how do you feel like, is your work changing living in Paris or...? Do you feel like from, you know, the move that you made and why did you make this move anyway? I think that's an interesting question. Lots of people have asked me yeah. if the work's changed. Um, it hasn't. Um, mm. I still work the same. Um, but I'm inspired by Paris. I go out and I walk around and I see different mm. things. Um, and I made the change because I'd been in London for 12 years and I just yeah. wanted to change the scene. I figured it was also close yeah. enough to home that I could just jump in. Do you go back around. a lot? Yeah. Yeah, you do as well. Yeah. Do you miss London much? You know, what's really crazy is I don't miss it. <sighs> but isn't that because you're just in another cosmopolitan city that's sucking you and in? And maybe also all... because a lot of my friends, people, you know, yeah. the industry, people travel through Paris all the time. So there's always someone yeah. from home or someone from New York or someone from LA, someone every single week. So I don't get too lonely and yeah, people always come visit and occasionally I go back you know, for work or yeah. I've been going back a lot for weddings recently. Oh really? There's a lot of people. Wedding season. <laughs> You're like, God, I've got a lot of friends getting married as well. Yeah. Well, I find a lot of people move out of London as well, you know, that I've That moved, was another yeah. reason why I wanted to leave yeah. because I felt like my really good friends lived either in the countryside and had family and kids or they lived abroad. Yeah. And I just wasn't really inspired by anyone. I wanted to meet new people and creative people and it's went kind of like I have a yeah. fresh start but still doing what I do. So where do you get most of your inspiration from, like when you're working? I mean, where does it come from? Do you look through the past, through drawings, art? Yeah, well normally I get a brief and then, um, you know, I can be like on the bus and I can see someone yeah. who has like a cool hairstyle yeah. or eyeshadow or lipstick or whatever. Um, even your, you know, nail polish is like really great. So like maybe, you know, I'll be inspired by that. So it just, it depends. And I normally try and keep a notebook for me and I'll drop down notes too. Did you always draw from a young age? Yeah, since I was three. Because that's like, yeah. it's not something that we're, everyone's we're, good at doing, to be honest. But with felt tips too. So I it's did? Kind of like what I've used forever, yeah. Really? Oh my God. So you, you, do you feel like you were destined? What, what did you study at uni? You went to Parsons? I went to Parsons in New York. I studied fashion design for a year, but I was so terrible at sewing and pattern making that um, <laughs> I don't think that many fashion designers can sew and pattern make, though, can they? I don't think so. No. I was really good at the mood boards, but they didn't care about that. Um, they do now. You can go back into that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Back so it's all about that. I trend. switched to f fine art, so I didn't even study illustration. I have, I have a degree in painting and fine oh, art. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, how yeah. did the illustration come about? Because then? my for my senior show, I uh, showed some pictures, which later became he said she yeah. said. Yeah. And when I started doing that work, 
a journalist phoned me up and said, what do you do? And I kind of thought, it was like at the late 90s and everyone was doing, you know, they were either a photographer or a stylist. And I thought, there were hardly any illustrators back then. Mm, and so true. I thought, illustrator. And, and so then it just stuck. So which illustrators do you love or have inspired you? Like illustrators from the past or present? Do you look at other illustrations today? Are there other illustrators that you aspire to be like? Or? Um, I love Andy Warhol's like yeah. old drawings, like his Harper yeah. Bazaar drawings. Yeah. They're great actually. Yeah. Well, the stuff yeah. they did for interview, that was really love good time. Interview, yeah. That was amazing. I don't know why they don't do a bit more of that though. I know they should. Yeah. I suppose because there's, there's so much of the thing with digital image as being becoming so predominant and so important. But in that way, illustrators, do you feel like a bit squashed from all of that? Do you feel that there's the markets closing in more or, or do you feel like you've got such a niche market that you can you know keep doing that and people will always want that? When I first started, people at the beginning, they said, oh, this is just going to be a fad. I really? And I've been doing it for, what, 14 years now? So the fact that I'm still doing it is pretty amazing. But I think me personally, my style is so sort of distinctive. Yeah. But people do say that there are more and more illustrators. Well, I suppose now you could almost think about applying it to like a fashion label. You should go back to your... I know, I know, beginning, I know, and you could I do know. something with that. And you know, you? actually, I designed my school uniform when I was 14. Did you? Yeah. I'd like to see that. What was it like? <laughs> because um, they asked the students if we could win design on a school oh uniform. Oh my God, so what was it like? Me and my best friend designed it. I asked it if like I dream could, school uniform. I asked if I could keep the drawing, because I kind of figured I would do art yeah. later, and they were like, no. So what was your ideal school uniform? I think they should bring them back though anyway. It's like it's you know in Italy no one wears school uniform. They don't even have it. But it was very deaf in Venice. It was a it was a it was a sailor suit top. Oh, brilliant. And a uh, like a boater hat. Oh yeah, amazing. It was so nice. There are some like crazy crazy school uniforms though. But isn't that unbelievable that I got to like, yeah. design my school uniform? Yeah, that is amazing. I know. Great. That's not even so, on my CV. So do you think you could do collaborations? Do you have I any collaborations with fashion designers? Well, I did some prints with Zach Pose, and I did uh, yeah. some prints for his Zeus book collection. It was spring, summer 2011, which now seems so far away. Um, I did that, but he's also a good friend. friend yeah, there. okay. But I would actually really love to do a, a fashion collaboration, because, mm. you know, I am trained at doing that. Yeah, so exactly. It's just I can't see No, I was kind of surprised you haven't already <laughs> done that yet. I know, Being I just need Paris. people to approach me, just no so one has. We were talking about the uh, fact before that, um, you know, that all the parties, and we were saying how we're actually quite tired, and we're still drinking champagne, obviously, because it's to keep up the momentum. <laughs> but you say you don't really go out that much with, uh, when it comes to Paris. Paris. Well, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> like you this is London. my my week of going out. And yeah. I'm like amazed that I'm even. But out do you go out much in Paris Fashion Week? Do you do the shows? Do you do? I went to that? one show this week, and I went to Pucci where I met you. Yeah. Um, and then tonight, and that's it. In also Paris, there's so much of like London, and in Milan, it's just really straightforward. It's like you've got your Dolce Gabbana, you've got your Versace, you've got your Armani, you've got your big brands, and then there's a couple trying to get yeah. up, you know, but like ultimately it's about big brands. Well in Paris it's so spread up, up as well. There's a lot of alternative stuff going on here. Yeah. And I went to Trinoy as well and saw lots of different things and there's just so much going on here. Yeah. I have friends that work for all those alternative brands and yeah. I never knew who any of them are. But they're always <laughs> talking about them, the up and coming people. Yeah. yeah, well they're kind of like the brands that are here in the showroom today, yeah. like that I suppose. And I don't understand how they all taste well but take that out as well but I'm just like there's so many brands today yeah. there's like a never ever ending pool of like fashion brands someone's got a fashion label so that's like you should do your own one now I think I know I know my friends you know because I you know I have got other interests besides you know <laughs> illustration I'm interested in photography and I'm interested in interior design um but people do say you know why don't you do a fashion label but you just I guess I've been waiting or for someone you know, to approach me or, or something. Or a home you know, label. Or, um, or anything, A home yeah. label could be really nice. That's a yeah. new thing. That's a new trend. A home, home label would be good. So what, do, what are the, be, the things you like best about living in Paris? I live in the Marais, which I love. Oh, that's the best area. Uh, and, <laughs> of yeah. course, that was my, my plan was to move there. Um, and I didn't really know that many people when I moved to Paris, and so I've met all pretty much new friends. Yeah. They just happen... Well, I, you know, my friends are very creative people, so they're all like 
in the name You're of friends with French people, Parisians. I made... I, oh, you did. You I managed did, to I break did, through. I did. I decided that I had to have some French friends. I even got a French boyfriend for a little bit. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> You're supposed to have lots of those, by the way, Daisy. <laughs> you need about five of them, apparently. I know. Um, so you broke it through the Parisian, you know. Yeah, but 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 door. um, but uh, I, I they speak English to me, you know. It's, it's bad, you know. This is what upcoming project was. What are you working on now? Okay, okay so at the projects. moment, I have a show on in of all places, Newcastle. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay, we can't quite get there that easily. But tell us about your show there. Um, it's at the Land Gallery, um, and it's for Great North One Culture, um, and every year they have a um, marathon, yeah. and uh, last year I went and took portraits okay. behind the scenes, and then with the photos I drew illustrations, wow. and so that there's 15 portraits hanging cool. up now. And so I was just in Newcastle. So did you go? You went there? I was there two weeks How ago, was yeah. it? How was Newcastle? It was really good, and I'm going back next month. No, this month. Oh, Wait, okay. Wait, October already. I'm yeah. going back in, you know, oh. mid-October for a talk. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. so following through. So there yeah. are plans to do more exhibitions? Yeah, hopefully do more exhibitions. I'm yeah. doing a new book. Okay. I just finished a new book, um, and now I just need a publisher. Fantastic. So, yeah. so there's quite a lot of other projects. And then big commercial projects on the side as well? Or yeah, yeah. Those things you enjoy as much as your own personal work? Or depends what it is? Yeah, I like those because it means, like, you know, I have some sort of savings yeah. and can pay my rent. Do you ever say no to work? Do you ever just turn down stuff? So people make do stuff for free all the time. Yeah, yeah it is for free, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. like a big brand that you just really don't like or something, what would you always think? There was a brand once, and I said to my agent, I'm not sure. I said, only if they, if they, if they can pay, okay. And so that was... Fine. And then you would do yeah. it, basically. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. But I also want to stick to my guns as far as how I feel about... Because I, you know what I like so I want to have work with brands yeah I feel I like I don't want to work with a brand I don't like yeah so I wouldn't so I aspiring guess. brands this is your moment on camera aspiring brands that you'd like to work for yeah right? I started getting paid tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of money <laughs> and I had no choice so Coca-Cola <laughs> no actually Coca-Cola's on my list yeah I was gonna say I was thinking Carrier. that would be great you know how like you know, yeah all of those mm, exactly Coca -Cola. I was thinking Coca-Cola stuff They've got that new campaign, Diva, Sister, you know, Stella. And also, I would like to do work with a beauty brand mm. to do, like, cosmetic exactly. cosmetics. Well, did I just see, Matt just did, uh, is that Antonio Lopez? They just did. Really? Uh, yeah, a little project that, that was really good. So, that yeah, good. that's a good one. Mac, right, okay, here we are. Mac, if you can hear us now, <laughs> we should be working together. Thanks so much for coming on my bed today Thank and having you. a little chat Thank with you me. Thank you for having me. I think it's time for another glass of wine. I know. I feel like we could talk for like yeah. five more Well, hours. we're going to continue, basically, but we might just say goodbye to you guys. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.